Hello and welcome to Once Upon a Time in Black History. My name is Tamara Shido and I will be your host and happy Women's History Month. Today, I will be sharing information about one of those women in history. Today, I'm going to speak about Dorothy Lee Bolden, Uniting Domestic Workers. Her first experience with domestic work was at the age of nine for $1.25 per week. Alabama-born Dorothy Lee Bolden, alongside her mother, washed soiled diapers for a white employer. Little did anyone know that this profession would spur Dorothy to spearhead the movement for basic dignity and respect for generations of domestic workers. Domestic workers followed her beyond high school. According to sources from the New York Times, she said she would wake at 4 a.m. to leave home by 6 a.m. and be on the job by 8 a.m. Perform all those duties necessary to the proper management of a household for eight hours. Leave there by 4 p.m. to be home by 6 p.m. where she would do the same things she'd done all over again for her own family. It was Dorothy's experiences working as a domestic in 1940s Atlanta that inspired her civil rights activism. A white female employer demanded that she remain beyond her shift and wash dishes. She refused. She was arrested and held in county jail because she was crazy. There was no other reason for disobeying an order from a white person. Imagine that. She was never sentenced or institutionalized. However, this event was the seed that grew into organization that would protect domestic workers across these United States. It was the National Domestic Workers Union of America. Rosa Parks at that time had made public transportation a major breeding ground for civil rights activism. So Dorothy began organizing during the long bus rides her peers made to the wealthy neighborhoods. Many were fed up working long hours for little pay, with little to no worker protections. This organization of women would go on to fight for workers' rights, create training programs, and teach workers to advocate for themselves. It was also important to Dorothy to teach communication skills. You had to know how to talk to folks. In the book, Household Workers Unite, Dorothy is quoted as saying, You have to teach each maid how to negotiate. And this is the most important thing, communication. I would tell them it was up to them to communicate. She was right. But respect for her activism was not shared by everyone, of course. Although she consulted presidents for Reagan and Counter, she still received several death threats from who else? The Ku Klux Klan. The New York Times reported that during the makings of an oral history project, Dorothy said that men claiming to be members of the KKK called her house and spoke about whipping my behind. But in coarser terms, she said, I told them any time they wanted to come, come on over and grab it. Dorothy said during the interview, it didn't scare me, didn't bother me. It made me angry. It made me determined to do what I had to do, she said. Representative John Lewis of Georgia said that Dorothy spoke up and she spoke out. And when she saw something that wasn't fair or just or right, she would say something. The NDW of America ran until the end of the 1990s. Dorothy's legacy lives on. Now, imagine that. Thank you for listening to Once Upon a Time in Black History. Remember, if you're interested in purchasing books about black history, you can find great selections at my bookstore at www.multiculturalbookstore.com. Thanks again. My name is Tamara Shiloh. See you next time.